Hello, I am Enix the Pirate, and uh, chances are my teeth are a lot more disgusting than yours. But this doesn't matter to me, because I spend all my time down at the Lord's Diner eating free meals with a bunch of homeless people and crack addicts, and every time I walk through the doors, I do have the nicest teeth in the place, which drastically increases my self-esteem. A lot of people in real life who know me know that uh, I'm not a big fan of rap music. Not all rap, mind you, but most of the old school shit and uh, anything that talks about beating hookers and uh, making money off being a pimp, selling drugs, uh, engaging in uh, illegal activity for profit, etc. Yeah, I don't like that shit. Because I've noticed uh, uh, that the only people who, who tend to listen to that kind of stuff are uh, those with battered woman syndrome. Yes, the BWS is the demographic that all of these uh, music industries tend to go after. Allow me to explain myself. You see, here in America especially, there are really, 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 really bad neighborhoods. Ghettos, slums, places where crime breeds, people are uneducated, and uh, gangs spring up all over the place. Most of the people in these communities uh, suffer from something called learned helplessness, in which they feel that the lives they have uh, are the only lives to be lived by them. They feel as if they are trapped in their worlds uh, due to a number of factors. Their worlds are small and filled with crime, and the only way they're going to escape that is to become successful at basketball, rapping, or to become drug barons in their neighborhoods. But the point is, these people feel trapped, they're never going to get a good education, they're never going to escape their worlds, and uh, there's no need to think ten years ahead into the future because Really, uh, when you don't have money and you don't have a good job or a good education, it's kind of hard to see past tomorrow. So when all of these poor, pathetic people listen to rappers talk about selling drugs and beating hookers and shooting rival gang members, it makes them feel as if these people uh, have escaped a world that they themselves feel trapped in, and it kind of gives them hope which I find to be extremely disgusting. Because rappers are rapping about lifestyles that they themselves don't possess. They are charlatans. Uh, and they're looking to make a quick buck off of people with battered woman syndrome. So yeah, I, uh, I, I reject rap music. I don't listen to the crap, and uh, I don't think anybody else should either. Mm, 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 look, look at me. Look, look at me. <laughs> Gang symbols. Uh. If you live in a shitty neighborhood and you live in poverty and you've been forced to steal and sell drugs in order to afford food for your 15 billion babies at home, let me uh, let you in on a little secret. Most of your problems can be solved by simply packing up your shit and moving to a different geographical region. Sometimes it's as simple as that, folks. There is a bigger world out there. Eight Mile is not a fucking metropolis. Your world is escapable. And you can't say shit to me about me not knowing. I lived in the suburbs. I lived in a trailer park. I lived in duplexes, apartments, etc. I've lived in the best neighborhoods. I've lived in the shittiest neighborhoods. I've had some neighbors who were lawyers. I've had other neighbors who sold cocaine. You can't tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about. Because I've been there. I really, really have. Most of your problems can be so. Fuck!